Hi, welcome back to O-Level Elementary Mathematics. I'm Christina here. So today we'll be actually going through uh, indices in this video. So for indices, there's actually many many laws for indices itself. There's actually 9 laws to remember. So it's very important for you to actually know all the 9 laws by heart and that you'll be able to apply it easily when you uh, meet any indices question. So I will actually go through one by one with you and to uh, highlight certain things to take note and certain um, common mistakes that students actually make during uh, during exam when they do any questions uh, regarding indices itself. So the first law will be a to the power of m times a to the power of m will be equals to a to the power of m plus n. So this involves a multiplication of two integers with different uh, power itself but the same base a is considered as the base and then different power so when you multiply them together you become a positive sign will be a addition sign so the common mistakes made by students is that when when a a to the power of n times a to the power of m they multiply them together at the power part but this is wrong so or they will make a mistake where they actually add them up together a to the power of n plus a to the power of m, which is wrong too. So please do take note that of the different common uh different mistakes that is made by students. Going on, number two, uh, law number two will be a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m. So it will be equals to a to the power of n minus m. Law three will be a to the power of m bracket m. So you actually just multi multiply the power together to get a to the power of n m. Next, now this two is of different base. One is a and one is b, but they have the same power, which is m. So when you meet such cases, you just multiply a times b. And bracket the common power. And this is not the same if it's a m times b n. It's not the same. Okay, so be very, very careful what the base is, what a and b is, and what the power is. Moving on, same thing a over b to the power of m. We can separate them to this. Next, whenever there's a negative power, it will result in a fraction. Similarly, if it's a fraction, there's a negative n, negative power. This will become a proper number. Next, a to the power of 0. You just have to memorize that it's equals to it's always equals to one. Moving on, a to the power of one over n. When it's a fraction, it will become a square root, or a, it will become a square root, or cube root, or whatever, and it's same goes for this a to the power of m over n n will still represent what is the number for the root itself and then m will be the power of a itself so this nine law is important for us to remember so that we will be able to apply them correctly uh, when we do indices questions and uh, in the next two slides we'll actually uh, go through some examples and i will break, break down the working and show you what are the laws that is being applied in that question so do spend some time uh, completing them first before looking through the solution and explanation. So moving on, example one, uh, take two minutes before you proceed on with the video. Okay, so let's go through the question. So because a to the power of negative two times a to the power of six, law one will be applied. So you become a to the power of negative two plus six. So you'll get a to the power of 4 over a to the power of 5 because it's a division 
law 2 is a division and because both power uh, both base is the same we apply law 2 and this will result in a to the power of 4 minus 5 where we will actually get a to the, to the power of negative 1 and law 6 will be applied where there is a negative integer and in this case our negative integer is negative 1 so you will get answer of a is so we'll get answer of 1 over a. Moving on, example 2. Take another 2 minutes to complete this uh, example. It'd be much more complicated. Okay, let's go through the answer now. So the first part will be, law 3 will be applied in this case, where it's negative 2 times 2, which will give us negative 4 here. And next, you will actually see a to the power of negative 4 times a to the power of 1 over 3. So we'll to add them up together where law 1 will be applied first and you realize there's actually a to the power of negative 5 so we we'll actually apply law 6 here and it will become a to the power of 5 and looking at this since it's connected by positive uh, is connected by a multiplication we we'll actually apply law 1 again add them up we will get a to the power of uh, 4 over 3 and then we we'll apply law 9 and write it nicely in what they usually suggest. So it's square uh cube root to the cube root of a to the power of four. So this is the n, this is the n. I hope you get answer. It's actually uh pretty simple. But you do uh do take note the number of laws that actually being applied in this question is actually four of them. Four laws in total. So it's very important for you to actually remember all the laws and apply them quickly in such question. This shouldn't take you more than shouldn't take you more than two minutes. Shouldn't. Okay. So time management is important during O level itself. So such simple questions should be easily completed within two minutes. So a recap: we have gone through the use of symbols, the use of uh standard form for the past two videos. And today we have went through indices. I hope that you will go back and memorize all the nine laws by heart, so that you can um like what I've been mentioned. Uh, what I've been focusing on is for you to apply them quickly and easily without having to refer to anything and way that you can refer to it. So it's important for you to remember all the nine laws. And with that, I'll come to the end of the video. Thank you.